Hello friends, this is Vinod Prabhu once again and I welcome you to our channel Sense and Aptitude Prep. If this is your first time, I hope you have a very very good uh, experience. This is the fifth video on average. Uh, you will see the other videos in this playlist. If uh, you haven't watched any other video, we suggest you start off from video 1 because they start with some concepts and then the difficulty level of the problems increase in subsequent videos. In this video, we are going to look at something known as including and excluding concept. What this means is there is a certain set of people, a person gets added and so when that person gets added, the average changes or a person from that group goes away and uh, the, consequently the average changes. The average can change either it can increase or it can decrease so we will see a few problems on this particular concept so in an office the average age of staff 20 staff members is 25 so what is the total sorry i want this what is the total age of the staff total age of the staff total age of the staff okay equal to average age of the staff into number of staff okay so that is 500 so if you add the age of all the staff members you get 500 now when this office assistant joins them so total age of staff plus assistant okay plus assistant is equal to 500 because that's the total age of the staff plus the age of the assistant now if this is the total age how do you find the average so you do total age by number. Do you know the number? Yeah, because there are 20 staff members and an office assistant joins them, which means it gets added. So that divided by 21. Total, so this is the total divided by the number is the average. The average becomes 26. So you do 500 plus x. 26 into 21. 546 x is equal to 46 x is equal to 46 means that the office assistant who joins them is this one so you see that person who joins them should be more than 25 because the overall average is increasing becoming 26 let's look at uh, the next problem we have the average age of um, 11 hockey players and their coach is 27. So, so what is their total age? Total age of 12 people is 12 into 27. Okay, 11 hockey players plus the coach. So this becomes 270 plus 54, 324. Okay, three, 324. Now when the coach is not present, the average age is 25. So what is the total age when there are only 11 people? So don't make it 12 into 25, it is 11 because there are only 11 people into 25, 250 plus 25, 275. So why is this total coming down? Total of 12 was 324, total of 11 is 275. So this increase is ha from here is happening only because of the coach. So the age of the coach is 324 minus 275 which is equal to 14. That is the age of the coach. Family of four as an average age. So this family total age. Total age, the first thing you do is when they would have given averages, right? You calculate the total age of the family. So four people and the average age is 30. So the total age is 120. When the driver is counted, the average age increases by 30%. So what do you do? Average age is 30. How do you do? increases by 20 percent you can multiply by 120 and divide it by 100 which is the same as multiplying 30 by 1.2 it was 30 percent 30 into 1.3 40 percent 30 into 1.4 decreases by 20 percent then it would have become 30 into decreases by 20 percent Okay, decreases by 30 percent, 30 into 0.7. So here it increases by 20 percent, 30 into 1.2 is 36. So this family's average age is 30, total age is 120, when the driver is in counted, so which means it becomes 5, 5 people. The average age increases by 20 percent, which means the average age is 36. So total age of the family, total age, family plus driver is equal to 36 into 5 
is equal to 180. So this is with the four people, this is with the five people. This increase has only happened, the total age has increased only because of the fifth person is the driver. So driver's age is 180 minus 120. Driver is 60 years old. Okay, next concept. Now there is a class with n number of students. Their average age is 20. So total age of n students is 20 so it is 20 n okay average is 20 so total age is 20 n now five students with an average age of 23 come in okay the average of the class increases by one year now total age of n let's call it n plus 5 now there are n plus 5 students which is equal to total age of n plus the total age of the five students Total age of the 5 students is 115, 23 into 5. So now this is the total. See, total age of 20. When there were n students is n into 20. Because their average is 20, there are n students is n into 20. Now when there are n plus 5 students and you have to calculate the total age, you calculate the total age of n, which is 20n. Now to calculate the total age of 5, which is 5 into 23. So 20n plus 115 is the total age. Now to calculate the average 20n plus 115 divided by the total number of students is n plus 5 is now increases by 1 year which means it will become 21. So 20n plus 115 is equal to 21n plus 105. n is equal to 10. So we had 10 students. So if you want to verify, okay, 10 students with 20 years average, right? So some of their age is 200. And these 5 students come in with an average age of 5. So 1 plus. So the total is 315. Let's divide 315 by 15. You get the value as 21. You can verify also the average increases by 1. So this is the verification part. So if you take 10, you get the average increases by one, which is correct. That's in the first 10. We had 10 students initially in the class. So, friends, we've looked at uh, the concept on averages called as including and excluding. You add a new person, the average changes. You remove an existing person, the average changes. And how to calculate the age of the person who joined or the age of the person who left, all those combinations. So, if you like the video, please sh uh, click the thumbs up sign show us your love in the comments if you have any doubts could write that in the comments and we would solve it there in the comments or uh, create a new video for it if you haven't subscribed yet click on the subscribe button and, uh, and hit the bell icon share it with your friends people who haven't heard of us please do pass on the word if you want to practice tests and questions on specific modules visit our website sensenstalent.com and you can explore the site and uh, see what uh, you want to become better at. So thank you once again for spending your valuable time uh, with us and I hope you found it useful. Thank you.